In the history of infamous scams, one name stands out, Victor Lustig. Known for his exceptional skills in forgery and manipulation, Lustig became notorious for his audacious acts of deceit. One of his most astonishing feats was the selling of the Eiffel Tower in 1925. This audacious scam is a true testament to Lustig's cunning intellect and his ability to exploit the greed and ignorance of his targets. Victor Lustig was born in 1890 in Houston, a small town in the present-day Czech Republic. From an early age, he showed signs of being a clever and resourceful individual. Although his upbringing was humble, Lustig was determined to rise above his circumstances and make a name for himself. During his youth, Lustig developed a passion for the art of deception. He honed his skills in forgery and manipulation, gaining a deep understanding of human psychology and the weaknesses that could be exploited for personal gain. By the time he reached adulthood, Victor Lustig was a masterful con artist, ready to embark on his journey of scams and trickery. In the early 1920s, Lustig's skillful tactics garnered him significant wealth, but it was his audacious plan to sell the Eiffel Tower that would cement his place in history. Seeing an opportunity to exploit the desire for profit during a time of economic instability, Lustig devised a plan that would deceive even the most discerning individuals. Lustig's plan was audacious yet meticulously crafted. To find suitable targets, he researched wealthy individuals who were desperately seeking investment opportunities to secure their fortunes. Armed with a forged identity, as a government official, he approached these individuals with an enticing offer, the opportunity to purchase the Eiffel Tower. The prospective buyers were astounded by the audacity of Lustig's proposal. However, he played his role convincingly and convinced them that the French government, burdened with maintenance costs, had decided to sell the iconic landmark. Lustig even arranged a series of meetings in luxurious hotel rooms, further perpetuating the illusion of a legitimate transaction. Lustig's persuasive skills were unmatched. He played on the desires and fears of his targets, appealing to both their aspirations for financial gain and their concerns about missing out on a unique opportunity. To make the deal seem even more legitimate, he orchestrated an elaborate tour of the Eiffel Tower, arranging for the buyers to meet officials and witness the supposed preparations for the transfer of ownership. Victor Lustig's charm and attention to detail fooled his victims into believing every aspect of the transaction was legitimate. However, the final act of the scam was yet to unfold. After obtaining significant sums of money as payment for the Eiffel Tower, Lustig vanished from the scene, leaving his unsuspecting victims to realize the true extent of his deceit. News of the audacious scam spread quickly, capturing the imagination of the public and earning Victor Lustig a reputation as one of the greatest con artists of his time. The authorities, determined to bring him to justice, intensified their efforts to capture him. However, Lustig's cunning allowed him to evade capture for several years, engaged in new scams and always remaining one step ahead. In 1935, Lustig's luck finally ran out. He was apprehended by the FBI for counterfeiting and sentenced to prison. Even behind bars, Victor Lustig's manipulative skills remained intact. He managed to charm fellow inmates and even the prison guards, earning him privileges and a degree of comfort within the confines of his cell. On March 11, 1947, Victor Lustig succumbed to pneumonia in Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary. His legacy as a master con artist endures, with his sale of the Eiffel Tower remaining one of the most audacious and captivating scams in history. Lustig's ability to exploit human weaknesses and manipulate individuals for personal gain serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the importance of vigilance and skepticism in a world where deception can lurk around every corner.